guys, the time has finally come for Demographia to become alive again. So I know that I haven't, I mean, okay, technically my last video was seven months ago, which is already super long ago, but that was just like Happy New Year's, whatever. Um, and then before that, my last real video was 13 months ago, but even that was just a kind of a fun video where I was making the races of the world according to the US. So really my last like real demographics video was all the way back in June of last year. And so it's been way too long. Um, I'll just start off by saying the reason I haven't um, made any videos on this channel for a long time or mainly because my main channel, My History 2, which by the way, if you haven't subscribed to, go subscribe to, got deleted. And so I've basically been spending the last year uh, remaking all my videos from that channel. But the good thing is, one, I reached 500 subscribers on that channel, and two, more importantly, I finished remaking all the videos on that channel. I've also recently revived my EU4 channel, Micah's EU4 stream, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. Um, and so it's finally time to uh, make this channel alive again. And finally, um, for those of you who have really been subscribed for a long time, you might be wondering why I'm making another video about East Asian since I already made one. But the reason is basically just because my old one was kind of outdated and kind of boring and I wanted to make a more interesting version here. And so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be talking about East Asians today. So East Asian people are the largest race of people in the world which is why I will be talking about them first. So it's not going to be a shock to anyone that they mainly live in East Asia and also some in Southeast Asia with most living in China, Mongolia, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Russia, and Taiwan. So even though a lot of people use Asian to refer to East Asian people, that is wrong because there are plenty of races in Asia. In fact, it's the most racially diverse. I mean, it has the most different races. Um, and these include Middle Eastern, Central Asian, South Asian, Southeast Asian, European, and Oceanian people. So yeah, there's no such thing as an Asian race. So East Asian people are in general relatively short. Their skin color is yellowish, light brown. Their eyes are usually black or dark brown and have an epicanthic fold that covers the inner corner of their eye, which is why their eyes are narrow and almond shaped. They generally have a relatively broad and short or medium skull with prominent brow ridges. They have straight black hair that is scanty on the body and face, but long on the scalp. And they have flat and small noses. So now let's look at the different ethno-linguistic groups within the East Asian race. So the largest one being the Sino-Tibetan peoples, followed by the Japonic peoples, Austroasiatic peoples, Kredai peoples, Korean people, Mongyan people, Tugusic peoples, Mongolic peoples, Chuvash people, Siberian Turkic peoples, Ainu people, Chukurko, Kem. Kamchatkin people, well that's hard to say, and Samoyedic people. And so in total this brings us to around 1,680,000,000 East Asian people. So now if we look at each ethno-linguistic group, the Sino-Tibetan peoples mainly live in China, Myanmar, Bhutan, Singapore, Western Taiwan, and Northern Nepal, with some also living in Northwestern and Northeastern India. Japonic peoples obviously live mainly in Japan. Austroasiatic peoples mainly live in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, with some living in eastern Thailand. Kredai peoples mainly live in Thailand, with some living in Laos, southeastern China, northern Vietnam, and eastern Myanmar. Koreanic people, well, basically just Korean people, obviously mainly live in North and South Korea, with some also living in northeastern China. Hmong Mian peoples mainly live in southeastern China, with some also living in northern Laos. Tungusic peoples mainly live in central Russia, with some also in eastern Russia. Mongolic peoples mainly live, well, you guessed it, Mongolia, with some also living in northeastern Russia and southeastern uh, Russia. Turkic pe uh, Siberian Turkic peoples, sorry, mainly live in eastern Russia. Uh, Chukurko Kamchatkin peoples mainly live in northeastern, yeah, you guessed it, Russia, and also Samoyedic peoples mainly live in northern Russia. And so don't worry if you guys don't know who all these ethno-linguistic groups are, I'll be explaining it, explaining who they are uh, later on in the video. So now let's look at what religions they practice. So out of the East Asian people, around 1 billion, 54 million, or 62.7% are atheists, making them the most atheist race on earth. 
348 million or 22.2 percent are buddhists 108 million or six and a half percent are pagans 65 million 800,000 or 3.9 percent are christians 60 million or 3.5 percent are shintoists and in case you don't know shinto is a religion in japan that focuses on rituals to establish a connection between ancient and modern japan 33 million or 2 percent are hindus 15 million or 0.9 percent are muslims 4 million or 0.3 percent are Chaldeists, a religion that i honestly had never even heard of until today which will i mean okay not today because i heard of it the first time i made this video but you you get what i mean um which was established in 1926 in Vietnam. So they believe in one God who created the universe, and the goal of life is to achieve union with God by releasing yourself from the cycle of birth and rebirth. So kind of like a mix of Buddhism and Abrahamic religions. Three million are Chandoists, another religion I never heard of, uh, which was established in Korea in the 20th century, and which is a mix of paganism and Confucianism. Sorry, it's Chiondoists believe that the goal of life is to achieve social welfare and personal cultivation and they don't believe in an afterlife. Finally, 1 million or 0.1% are Hao Haoists, another religion I never heard of, which was established in Vietnam in 1939 and is based on a simplified version of Buddhism. Uh, oh, sorry, it's Hoa Hao uh, believed that their founder, Huin Fu So, is a Buddha who's going to save humanity from suffering and help the Vietnam. Now let's look at some of the ethno-linguistic groups. So the largest East Asian ethno-linguistic group, as mentioned, are the Sino-Tibetan peoples. So there are around 1,415,000,000 Sino-Tibetan peoples, which means that they make up 75.8% or basically two-thirds, I mean three-quarters of the East Asian people are part of this one group. So what makes them an ethno-linguistic group is that they all speak Sino-Tibetan languages. So nobody really knows where or when they originated. But if we look at the religion, around 70.2% are atheists, 17.2% are Buddhists, 7.3% are pagans, 2.9% are Christians, 1.3% are Hindus, and 1.1% are Muslims. So if we look at some of the actual ethnicities in this group, the largest tibeto burman people are the Han people. So the Han people by far are the largest ethnicity on the entire planet. There are around a staggering 1,347,000,000 Han people in the world, which means that one-seventh of all people on this earth belong to one ethnicity. 72.1% of the entire East Asian race is actually from this one ethnic group. So the Han people are often mistakenly called Chinese. Not all native Chinese are Han people. And they make up 91.5% of the Chinese population, which is still a huge amount, but not the entirety of China. Han people mainly live in North and East China. What's strange about the Han people is that they are one of the few ethnicities that speak many languages. The thing is, Chinese and even Mandarin isn't a language. The fact is that different people who speak what is considered Chinese can't even understand each other. And so, in reality, if we look at uh, actual languages, you know, like the different languages that are considered Chinese but really can't be understood, uh, we can see that the Han speak people speak over 37 languages. So, the second largest tibeto burman people are the Bamar people, therefore the Burman, because uh, you'll find out that they are the majority in Myanmar. So they're around 35 million 500,000 Bamar people, and they mainly live in Rakhine, Aye, Yarwadi, Bago, Yangon, Magwe, Mandalay, and Tanin Tharyi in Myanmar, and they mainly speak Burmese. And finally, the third largest Tibeto Burman people are, well, the Tibetan people, and there are around 6,200,000 Tibetan people, and they mainly live in Tibet, Qinghai, Sichuan, Kansu, and Yunnan in China. And Tibetan people, just like Han people, speak dozens of languages, in fact, around 24 to be precise. Now let's look at the Japonic peoples. There are around 129 million Japonic peoples, and this means that they make up 6.9% of East Asian people. So they speak Japonic languages, and their origin is also pretty much unknown. Out of the Japonic peoples, 51.8%, around half, are Shintoists, 34.9% are Buddhists, 7% are Atheists, and 2.3% are Christians. So the largest Japonic ethnic group are obviously the Japanese people. 
There are around 126,700,000 Japanese people in the world. And they mainly live in Japan, obviously, and speak Japanese. Now, the other Japonic ethnic group that you may, might have not known about are the Ryukyuan people. And there are around 1,900,000 of them. They mainly live in the Ryukyu Islands, which include Okinawa and Kagoshimi in Japan. And they, just like the Han, speak many different languages, including Kikai, Anami, Oshima, Tokuno, Shima, Yoron, Miyako, Yonaguni, Yayema, Kunigami, and Okinawa. And I'll just pretend I know any of those languages. So, now let's move on to the third largest East Asian ethnolinguistic groups, uh, linguistic group, which are the Austroasiatic peoples. So there are around 115 million Austroasiatic peoples. This means that Austroasiatic peoples make up 6.2% of East Asian people. They mainly speak, well, Austroasiatic languages. And their origin is probably in the middle Mekong, uh, in the Mekong is a river, um, around 2000 BC, or the Lingnan area of southern China around 3000 BC. Now, out of the Austroasiatic peoples, just over half or around 55% are atheists, a quarter are Buddhists, 6.2% are Christians, 3.6% are Cao Daoists, 1.5% pagan, 1.1% uh, are Hoa Haoist, and 0.2% are Muslims, while 7.4% follow other religions. So the largest Austroasiatic ethnic group are the Vietnamese people, and there are around 81 million Vietnamese people. Now, when I'm talking about the Vietnamese people, I mean the ethnic group and not necessarily the nationality. And so it's not going to be a surprise that Vietnamese people may live in Vietnam and speak Vietnamese. The second largest Austroasiatic ethnic group are the Khmer people. There are around 15,400,000 Khmer people. They mainly live in Cambodia, the Mekong Delta region of Vietnam, and Buriram, Surin, Sisaket, Trat, and Chanthaburi in Thailand. And they mainly speak Khmer. Uh, but Khmer is also like another way of saying basically Cambodian. So if you're wondering who these people are, they're basically just the Cambodians, but the ethnic group, not necessarily all of, all the people in Cambodia. Now, the third largest Austroasiatic ethnic group are the Dai people, not to co be confused with the Thai people in Thailand. There are around 8 million Dai people. Now, that's such a sad name to be called Dai people. Anyways, Dai people may live in the uh, Si Shuang Bana Dai and the Dehong Dai and Jingpo prefectures in Yunnan in China. They speak several languages including Tai Lue, Tai Nuea, Tai Dam, Lao, and finally just Tai. And Tai in this case, the one by the Thailand, Thai people in Thailand. <laughs> that's a lot of Thais. I wonder if they wear Thais. Okay, that's a bad joke. Moving on, so now we have the Kra Dai peoples. There are around 91 million of them, and this means that they make up 4.9% of East Asian people. Kra Dai peoples mainly speak Kra Dai languages, and their origin is probably in southern China sometime before 1000. Out of the Kra Dai peoples, 63.7% are Buddhists, 35.6% are actually pagans, and 0.7% are Christians. The largest group of our largest Kradai ethnic group are the Thai people. There are around 38,200,000 Thai people. And when I say the Thai people, again, I mean the ethnicity and not the nationality, as Thai people actually only make up a little over half of Thailand's population. And they mainly obviously live in Thailand and, well, speak Thai. The second largest ethnic group, uh, the second largest Kradai ethnic group are the Lao people. There are around 25,500,000 Lao people. Again, when I'm talking about the Lao people, I mean the ethnicity and not the nationality. As again, just like with the Thai people, the Lao people only make about, about half of Laos's population. Lao people mainly live in Laos, obviously, and also in Isan in Thailand. Lao people, well, again, speak Lao. And the third largest Kradai people are the Chuang people. There are around 18 million Chuang people, and they mainly live in Guangxi in China and speak, well, Chuang. All right, so then moving on, we have the Korean people. So what's uh, different and unique about the Korean people is actually they don't really belong to any ethno-linguistic group. They're just their own thing because the Koreans are just like completely different from like most of the other East Asians. So there are around 78,200,000 Korean people, and this means that they make up 4.2% of East Asian people. So obviously they speak Korean, 
and the origin is in Manchuria between 800 and 100 BC before they moved to Korea. Out of the Korean people, 58.3% are atheists, 18.7% are Christians, 10.2% are Buddhists, 5.2% are pagans, and 4.4% are Cheondalists. And they obviously mainly live in North and South Korea. So then there are the Hmong Mian people. There are around 16 million Hmong Mian peoples. And this means the Hmong Mian peoples make up 0.9% or just under 1% of East Asian people. They speak Hmong Mian languages. And their origin is in southern China between 2200 and 500 BC, before some of them moved south to northern Laos and northern Vietnam in the 7th century. Well, 17th, sorry, century. So out of them, 92.3% are pagans, which by far makes them the most pagan out of all the groups mentioned, and 7.7% are atheists. So the largest Hmong Mian people are the Miao people. And no, I'm not making this up. They're, they're actually called the Miao. So there are around 11,500,000 Miao people. And they mainly live in Yunnan, Guangxi, Guizhou, Hunan, Chongqing, Sichuan, and Hupei in China. They also live in Northwest in Vietnam. And yes, there's a place in Vietnam called Northwest. And Luang Prabang, Vietnam, Hua Pan, Siang Quang, Sai Sombun, and Bole Kamsai in Laos. And they speak almost 20 different languages. Second largest Hmong Mian people are the Yao people. There are around 3,100,000 Yao people, and they mainly live in Yunnan, Hainan, Guangxi, Guizhou, Hunan, Changxi, and Fuchen in China, and also northwest and northeast in Vietnam. Come on, Vietnam, couldn't you find a better name for your provinces? And they also speak many different languages, speaking almost 10 languages. So it seems the Hmong Mian peoples really like learning different languages. And finally, the third largest Hmong Mian people are the Shi people. There are around 700,000 of them, and they mainly live in Fuchen, Chichang, Anhui, Guangtung, and Jiangxi in China. And they speak many different languages, including the including Meixian, Wuhua, Sixian, Raoping, Hakka, and Shi. Alright, so now we're going to move on to some of the smaller ethno-linguistic groups within the larger East Asian race. So, start off, we'll be talking about the Tungusic peoples. So there are around 10,730,000 of them. This means that they make up 0.6% of East Asian people. So they mainly live, well, they mainly speak Tungusic languages as well as Chinese. And their origin is in northeastern Manchuria around the Amur River before moving north into Siberia. Now, the religion for them is hard to estimate, and I couldn't really find any good sources on that. So the largest Tungusic people are are uh, pretty famous and they are the Manchu people. There are around 10,400,000 Manchu people and they mainly live in Manchuria obviously which is in China and they mainly speak Manchu as well as Chinese. So the second largest are the Sibe people and there are only around 175,000 of them. They mainly live in Xinjiang, Liaoning and Chilin in China and they speak Sibe as well as Chinese. And finally there are the event people there are about 70,000 of them, they mainly live in Russia and China, and speak Evenki, Chinese, Mongolian, and Russian, because they're spread all over those countries. So, moving on, we have the Mongolic peoples. There are around 10,400,000 of them, and this means that they make up 0.5% of East Asian people. They mainly speak Mongolic languages. The origin, Their origin is unknown, but out of the Mongolic people, 61.5% are pagans, 25.5% or about a quarter are Buddhists, 12.7% are atheists, and 1.5% are Christians. The largest Mongolic people are obviously the Mongol people, and there are around 10 million of them. They mainly live in Mongolia, obviously, um, but also in Inner Mongolia in China, and in Buryatia and Kamikia in Russia. So most of them obviously speak Mongolian along with other languages such as Oirat, Ordos Mongolian, Buryat, and Kaminigan Mongol. If you watch my Genghis Khan video on Mike History 2, you'll probably recognize a few of those languages. The second largest are the Dongxiang people. There are 600,000 Dongxiang people, and they mainly live in Kansu in China. And Dongxiang people speak Santa. <laughs> no, I'm not making that up. That's their language, Santa. Um, and finally, the third largest are the Mongwar people. There are 300,000. Hmong war people, Hmong war like to go to war. <laughs> Anyways, they mainly live in Kansu and Qinghai in China, 
and mainly speak Mongwar and Wutun. So finally we have the well after that we have the Chuvash people and just like the Koreans they're kind of just their own group. Um there are around one and a half million of them and they mainly speak Chuvash or Russian. So their origin is around the beginning of the first century in the Irtish Basin in central Russia when the Bulgars started moving west to the northern Caucasus, arriving there between around 200 and 400 and establishing Bulgaria. But this was on the Black Sea coast and not the modern Bulgaria. And also they founded the Swar Principality. However, Bulgaria broke up in the late 7th century and some of its people fled to the Volga region, uh, establishing Volga, Bulgaria is later conquered by the Golden Horde until 1438 before becoming part of Kazan. And at this point, the modern true Vash nation was formed. And most of them were orthodox, but again, I can't really find any reliable numbers. So then there are the Siberian Turkic peoples. There are around 1 million of them, and they mainly speak Siberian Turkic languages, which are a part of common Turkic languages, which are a part of Turkic languages, and as well they speak Russian. The origin of Siberian Turkic and common Turkic peoples is unknown. The origin of Turkic peoples is between Central Asia and Siberia between around 600 BC and 500 BC. Then during the Turkic migrations, they split off and moved to Transoxiana between around 700 and 800. Most Siberian Turkic peoples are Orthodox, but again, I couldn't find any reliable numbers. So the largest group among them is the Yakut people. There are around half a million Yakut people, and they mainly live in Saka, with some also living in Amur, Magadan, and Sakhalin Oblast, and the Taimir and Evenk Autonomous Okrugs, all of that in Russia. And they mainly speak Yakut as well as Russian. The second largest Siberian Turkic people are the Tuvan people, and there are around 300,000 of them. They mainly live in Tuva in Russia, and speak Tuvan, Russian, Mongolian, and Chinese. Their largest Siberian Turkic people are the Kakaks people, now imagine being called the Kakas people. There are around 80,000 of them, and they mainly live in Kakassia in Russia, and mainly speak Kakas in Russian. So, after this, we have the Ainu people, and they are also just like their own group. There are around 113,000, and they mostly speak Japanese or Russian. So they're probably, they're pro uh, originally, they probably result as a mixture of Joman, Okotsk, and Satsumoan people between around 14,000 BC and around 800. And out of them, 51.8% are Shintoists, 34.9% are Buddhists, 7% are Atheists, and 2% are Christians. And they mainly live in southern Hokkaido in Japan. So now we're moving on to really small groups. So there are the Chukotko, Cham Ugh, Chukotko Kamchatkin people. I can never say that. There are around 27,500 of them, and they speak Chukotko Kamchatkin languages and Russian. So we can I couldn't really find anything about their origin, then it's pretty unknown. And same with their religion. So the largest one, Chukotko Kamchatkin group, are the Chukchi people. There are around 15,000 Chukchi people, and they mainly live in Chukotka, Ot 